Hello everyone. To start SSL VPN, the first step we're going to go is on administration. Click on administration and click on user and admin access settings. Then go to device access. Go to device access. Under device access, you can see under WAN link, we have to enable SSL VPN. Okay, and on LAN and on WAN, we have to enable the VPN portal. Now, the reason behind that is that when a client starts a VPN connection to access or to form a tunnel, there should be the the WAN link, the SSL VPN option should must be enabled on the WAN side because the request first went on the WAN interface. So that's why we need to enable this both. Click on OK. So this setting has been done. The next step is to go to remote access VPN. So here go to SSL VPN. Okay. So you can see that none of the records has been added as of now. Just click on SSL VPN global settings. I'll show you uh, what all global settings are there. So you can see that the SSL VPN works on TCP. So TCP port has been selected. Then this is the default certificate that has been added by Sophos Firewall. Then the port number. Port number is 8443. So the port to listen, the SSL VPN listens on 8443 port. Okay. Now the next step is assign IPv4 addresses. That means that that when a tunnel is formed, so the IP address uh, through which the communication is done is 10 subnet. So depending on your requirement, you can just edit this as well. And IPv6 if you want to add as well. Okay. So these all are the basic settings. You can see encryption, uh, authentication, then key size, then lifetime. Uh, DES also, AES also, everything is available. We are just selecting AES 128. Okay. And click on apply. Once this global setting has been configured, now click on add and here we want to configure manually. Just click on manually. We give the name as SSL-VPN. Okay, description if you want to add, you can add it. Policy member, I'm just adding a single policy uh, member name that I've created before. I'll show you that as well. But this is the test user I've created and permitted resource network so which network you want to allow so for that i have already defined a network to search is 172 so here is network 172 i've selected and i'll also add one as 192.168.10.0 network okay so be these two networks are allowed based on the subnet of your requirement you can add that as well now keep everything as default click on apply okay so you can see that the policy has been configured now go to next step so now to configure uh, the default port for VPN portal is 443 so HTTPS we put our uh, firewall IP address and 443 press enter you can see that you are accessible to that now the user that have cre we have created is test1 and the password what I have created I'll show you. Click on login. Hold on for a while. So the first step that we're going to do is we have to download Sophos Connect Client for Windows. Just click on this. So here you can see that the Sophos Connect is downloading. Please hold on for a while. So this has been downloaded. Just click on open file. This is asking for installation. Accept the configuration. Click on install. Hold on for a while. Click on yes. This will take some time. So this is uh, inst the installation is in progress. You can see here that the completion the installer has been completed successfully. Click on finish. Now minimize. Just click on Sophos Connect. Now when you are on this page, 
click on import connection go to downloads select this config open so you can see here that this is the IP address through which I can able to connect to the SOFOS firewall using tunneling okay the 10.133 network is the IP address of my SOFOS port B okay through which it reaches towards the internet and my default gateway is 10.2 so here you can see that it directly connected via 10.133 so the tunnel has also been established and our VPN has been formed okay to authenticate this we type test1 okay the password that I have mentioned sign in So you can see here that we have successfully connected to form a tunnel communication between the remote host and our uh, client machine. Okay. So this is the way we can able to make SSL VPN configuration. Once the tunnel is formed, you can also double check it using CMD. So on command prompt. we type our configuration as IP config so here you can see that 10.81 that we have uh, we have mentioned before that this will take this particular IP address while form tunneling and it started adding this particular IP address so the communication will be formed on this IP address okay rather than this IP address you can also confirm the same thing by uh, going to the current activities and here you can see that the test one user that we created and it also gives us the IP address as 10.81.0.2 that we have confirmed on CMD